Hi, I'm Mark Rothman, and I'm really excited for this video because it's about excitement. Now, I want to ask you to think back to a day when you were a kid that we were all excited, our birthday. We could have been excited for any number of things. We could have been excited for the cake, the friends that were coming over, the presents we'd get, the toys we'd get to play with, just fantasizing about what we might be able to do with them. Maybe there was one special, special toy we asked for that we were pretty sure we were going to get. That's a really special kind of excitement. And it's an excitement that helps us understand the tension that we live in as humans between our needs and our fulfillment, between our desires and our gratification, our anticipation and, and the thing that meets that anticipation. We live in that tension from the first moment we're born. What happens? We need to take a breath. We have a need, we need oxygen. Up until that moment, everything had come to us through our mothers. All our nutrients, all our oxygen. We didn't have to do anything on our own. There was no need, there was no fulfillment. It just was. But now we have to fulfill a need on our own. We have to breathe. And if you want to test that, you know how to do it. Just hold your breath for about 20 seconds. And at the end of that 20 seconds, it'll feel really good to breathe. It's like when we were kids and we tried to make it to one end of the swimming pool without breathing. How great did it feel, come up, feel to come up and take that breath of air? Whether we made it to the end of the pool or not, or we're even able to turn around and go another length or half length. That's the tension we live in on a day-to-day -day basis with our oxygen. We need water, and if we don't have water, we can die. If we don't have food, we can die, and we need to constantly fulfill that need to keep living. That's not the tension fulfillment dynamic I want to talk about when we talk about excitement. I want to go back to that child on her birthday and the excitement she felt because that's an excitement about living in a way and living a life that's bigger than the one you're living at the moment. And if you're not feeling that kind of excitement in a goal that you have, in a vision that you have for yourself, in something you want to accomplish, I think you need to look at what your vision and your goal is. Because it's that excitement that tells us we're not just meeting those basic needs like oxygen and food and hydration. It means that we're living a life where every day is a little bit like our birthday. That's the excitement that's going to carry us through all the obstacles that stand against us. That's the excitement that we need to move ourselves to a higher place, to a bigger vision of ourselves. And when we do that, two things happen. We are fulfilled. We are satisfied. We are gratified that we've become the person we want to be. But there's something else that happens. And we give our gift to the world. That's the biggest gift we have. Our excitement, our energy, our vision, that vision of ourselves that's bigger creates new waves, new opportunity, and new energy that would have never been there if we just focused on our needs minute to minute, day to day, oxygen, water, food. So what are you excited about? What are you moving towards with that kind of energy as if it were your birthday?